Hey everybody, and welcome to the next episode of Star Wars Battlefront 2 Classic Multiplayer Mod Reviews. Today we have Jade Moon, uh, a map that is inspired by Rogue Squadron for the Nintendo 64, one of the levels, uh, and is a giant level, um, including some bigger vehicles like AT-ATs as well. Uh, reason also why I did this map now is that, of course, recently we did the Krildor map, which was the best spin uh, platform inspired map with the green fog that I criticized so much. And the reason for this is that, of course, if you look at this map, the color scheme for this is, of course, also a turquoise or very green color, but it is not done in a hard cut way to where it is annoying. It's just part of the color scheme, and this is what I'm talking about. This is how that map either should have been or just omitted the green where here the greenish color feels very natural it feels part of how this map is supposed to be what's your initial uh, reaction to this map uh, Ryan yeah it looks so much better like it doesn't have that weird pop-in feel to it yeah it's very very cool though if you look in the sky a lot of flying vehicles are battling each other of course inspired by uh, Rogue Squadron uh, we have ATATs here. Are you in the ATAT? Yep. Cool. I mean, the level itself is giant. Really, really cool. And the cool thing too is that we have this giant sprawling area for the vehicles, but for the uh, infantry units, we actually have these uh, larger bridges and platforms uh, up top, and the AI is actually pretty capable of maneuvering themselves over that. So really, really cool. We have ATSTs. Now, there's a few custom new textures as well. I don't know if the uh, crystals that are used are, are all that new. We've lost the command post. We actually spawn Fight here. I think we will spawn on top of one of the platforms. We do. One thing that's actually very interesting that I thought about. Um, again, this map is massive. Massive, and of course we had the issue earlier with the Kashyyyk map we did, where it was too big to where it did not feel like there were a lot of units, right? Yeah. But uh, a trick here, even though I do think this uh, map has a lot more units than the Kashyyyk one, so it doesn't feel as uh, desolate. But a trick that uh, can feel that a map is less like empty is by having so many air vehicles. Like I'm now at the mm -hmm. at the edge of the map. And there's a few, there's a few infantry units here and there, but above my head, like A wings and X wings and Y wings and Tie fighters are all like fighting it out, and that makes it feel really epic. Even though on the ground itself, not too much is happening. Yeah. I mean, I don't know where you are. Are you still in the ATAT? -AT? No, I took an ATST. Okay. How uh, how crowded is it over there? Uh, there's quite a bit of enemies over here. Hmm. They're upset. One thing that's very interesting, though, is that on some of the platforms, the AI actually st stands still. And not in a bad way, but more of in a protective way, that if you actually go up those platforms, you will have some fights on your hands as well. Really, really dope. Yeah. Ah, dicks. And again, just color-wise, everything is really coherent and really flows well together. Yeah. We've captured a command post. Like, I like that this has that more of a unique type of feeling. So many, of course, of the maps we do are people's own iterations of the battle that we see in, um, in, in the movies. Right? Mm -hmm. So, like, their rendition of Kashyyyk, Geonosis, blah, blah, blah. And this, even though it's, of course, also a rendition of Jade Moon from uh, Rogue Squadron, at least feels different than all those battles we've seen before. Yeah. Let's actually get in the TX-130. Oh, are you are you in this dude? Am I your turret yep. dude? Holy shit. Alright, let's, let's go all kill right. some rebel scum. Fuck him up. Yeah. Battlefield nowadays also... Well, that's not true. I was about to say it doesn't have this where you have multiple people in a vehicle, but they do. It's rare, though. Ooh. Can we run people over and hurt them? Yeah, you have to press shift though to have a boost.
Oh, I missed. Oh, oh shit. there we went. Mines. I gotta try this sniper. sonic blaster guy out. Alright. Actually, yeah, I'll be a sniper and then after. Actually, I wanna be a pilot, I guess. Cannot be a pilot, but I wanna get into an air vehicle or a flying vehicle. I'll check this uh, map out from the from the sky. A command post for the Empire. The enemy is losing reinforcements. It even has like a, a like a little base that you can actually enter. Yeah. With the hangar. We've lost the command post. There's some there's some nice details here and there. Oof. The uh the flying's a little, uh, you gotta kinda... Is it too small for flying? Yeah, it feels a little small for flying. Oh, here we go, here, the TIE fighter just spawned. Yeah, you can't even fly up very high. I guess it's more like, of like a canyon battle or something. Yeah. See how oh yeah, okay, it automatically puts you down, huh? You picked up a bomber. There's a lot going on, though, a lot of enemies. Mm-hmm. We've lost control of a command post. Victory is within our grasp. Watch it. Good, good, good. The command post is under hostile control. Our numbers are being depleted. What I'm curious though is so we the Empire has two ATATs, and I wonder if the rebels actually do have something to counter that. Hmm. Oh shit, it's time to be Boba Fett. Oh nice. He gets his own spin-off movie as well. Oh god, it's so upsetting. <laughs> like, I don't understand. Like, get away from all those characters we know and love. Just create some new characters and flesh their stories out. Why do that thing. when you be lazy? Yeah. It's funny, in a way, but it might be just my nostalgia go goggles, but if I, like, when I play this in, um, in the TIE Fighter, uh, it kind of feels like Rogue Squadron. Hmm. But again, it might just be because, you know, I read that it's inspired by that, and so I automatically kind of put my nostalgia goggles on. Yeah. Like, I actually heard that the game that's available on Steam is actually not that well playable with uh, nowadays because you would of course think you would be able to use both sticks to play it but it's, it was Nintendo 64 so there was only one stick so oh really oh I mean it makes sense but yeah. oh yeah see even woozy even woozy is like meh on Star Wars uh, but at least you're hyped on that battlefield V no woozy mm. <laughs> soldiers with brave heart paint and samurai swords on their back Killing Germans with their historically accurate th their cricket paddle. <laughs> Not really anyone for me to kill. This sucks. no, it also we also we took all the spawn points. So yeah. All right, guys. So if you want to, uh, I really like this map. Um, I would say that uh, it, again, it's it's just in all things, it's a it's a good map. Uh, but it doesn't like uh, uh, how do you say like. Uh, exhilarate or something or like excel at anything particular it's just you know it's okay it's good it's fun it does what it does and so it's worth checking out uh, but it's not one of those that you'll see back in the top 10 probably uh, nevertheless if you want to check it out check out the link in the description down below if you have a tip or suggestion for us to do let us know as well and we will see you guys during the next review